Swoboda with Bellingham Washington's Ayurvedic Health Center and I'm going to talk a little bit about pranayama right now. Pranayama is a term that loosely translates to breathing exercises. Um, it means like restraint around breathing. So prana would be the breathing and the yama would be a restraint. But it's not so much restraining or constraining breathing as it is putting a structure, an intentional structure on the way you're breathing for a particular purpose. So there are a lot of different kinds of pranayama uh, and you want to be very intentional about what you're doing and which one you're choosing and why you're doing it. So I recommend that you work with a qualified Ayurvedic practitioner for that purpose. Um, you can't necessarily really hurt yourself with a pranayama, but you could um, pattern in some unintentional effects that may not be what you want. So definitely good to get some input from someone about what you're doing and why you're doing it. Um, so there are a lot of benefits to pranayama. Um, right, like, cause why would you want to do a pranayama? Lots of benefits to it. They generally are going to support the respiratory system in the body. So they're going to make it easier for prana to get into you. And prana has a lot of dictionary definitions to it, but prana, um, in terms of pranayama means things like breath, oxygen, air, life force, vitality, those kinds of things. Um, and if we don't get prana, if we don't get air into us, we die. Or uh, if, it's, if our capacity for bringing breath in is somehow compromised, then, we don't, then things don't operate very well in the body. So it's important to get good prana, good air, good oxygen into us. <clears throat> and pranayama can be one way to make sure that happens. Um, because it is prana that's coming in, um, pran doing a pranayama can be very vitalizing or revitalizing to the person doing it. Uh, it's just a way to bring in nice, good life force. Pranayamas can, depending on what kind you're doing, be harmonizing to the nervous system and to the two hemispheres of the brain. It can be balancing to the two sides of the brain. Uh, if you do cooling pranayamas, they can reduce how heated you feel in your body, both like if you feel hot, but also if you feel too intense or critical or blaming or judgmental, too heated in the mind, you can do cooling pranayamas. Uh, and then conversely, you can do heating pranayamas that are going to warm you up. If you feel cold in your body, or if you are noticing that um, Maybe your mind is kind of hanging out too much in fear or worry or anxiety or even in kind of sadness and lethargy and kind of a funk. There are pranayamas you can do that can change those states. Um, pranayamas are helpful to sleep because you're getting good oxygen and air into you during the day. You can uh, be better rested at night. Um, because Pranayamas work with the mind and the nervous system as well as with the respiratory system. Um, they can, as I mentioned earlier, they can calm you down. They can soothe things. So if your mind is racing and spinning a little too much, you can do certain kinds of pranayamas that um, calm and soothe your mind, that slow things down in the mind so that you're calmer and more stable. Um, and pranayamas can be a good practice to do before you go to meditate. So that just as with doing physical, like hatha yoga, you can still and calm the body, you can work the kinks out of the body and you can move it and settle it down by doing hatha yoga. By doing pranayama, you can just kind of stabilize the body and the mind in other ways so that it's easier to drop into and sink into a meditation and do your meditation. Um, Pranayamas are generally done daily. It's one of the practices that we recommend doing every day, even if it's just five minutes, um, because we know with Ayurveda that these practices that we do consistently over time yield great benefit. So whatever pranayama you end up doing, do it every day, even if it's just five minutes. Best to do it in the morning because the things that we do in the morning are what, are what set the tone for the rest of the day. Um, and you can do them very simply and easily. They don't have to be very contrived or heady. There doesn't have to be a lot of structure to a pranayama. Um, 
they can really be tailored for you and easy to do. You can do them when you're traveling on an airplane, you can do them not while you're driving, of course, but you could do them at home, you could do them when you're visiting with someone. Pranayamas can be very easy to incorporate in life. So, I hope this little intro has been helpful to you. Please go to our website, ayurvedichealthcenter.com, and you can type prana and pranayama into the search bar, and you'll see more information that will come up there about different pranayamas. All right, thank you. Hope this was helpful.